Ar Dalam is a natural cave where fossil remains of the Quaternary Age were excavated. The upper strata of Ar Dalam contained the earliest human remains in Malta, dating to the Neolithic period. Also excavated were animal remains such as hippopotami, a species of dwarf elephants, and red deer. Malta was at the time linked to Sicily via a land bridge. The megalithic temples of Malta and Gozo were built during the later Neolithic period from 3600 to 2500 BC. Separated from continental Europe and Africa some 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, the islands were first settled by Neolithic people, arriving from Sicily in around 5000 BC. These early inhabitants constructed magnificent temples, such as the Gigantia temples on Gozo, the oldest megalithic structures in the world, as well as the impressive Tarshim temples on Malta. The Hypogeum is a structural masterpiece cut entirely out of the rock. The Hypogeum represents a phenomenon that has been seldom repeated in other civilizations. The site represents a fine example of architecture in the negative that is not built but laboriously carved without the use of metal tools. The town of Imdina and the older parts of Rabat overlay the old township of the island referred to by Roman writers as Melita. The same name was also applied to the whole island. Imdina was founded during the later Bronze Age of 1500 to 1000 BC. In 1530, the Habsburg Emperor Charles V granted the Maltese Islands to the Knights of St. John, an order of crusading knights founded in Jerusalem in 1113 to provide hospitaling amenities to pilgrims and crusaders. Valletta, the capital city, was founded in 1566 by Grand Master Jean Parisot de la Valette, whose name it proudly bears. The city's planning had been a matter of debate for well over a decade prior to its actual foundation. The former palace of the Grand Masters has been at the centre of Malta's administrative life ever since the Knights built Valletta as the country's capital. During the long period of British rule, from 1800 to 1964, the palace served as the official residence of the British governors, becoming the presidential palace after Malta was declared a republic. The story of St. John's Cathedral is inextricably linked with the history of Malta, particularly with the history of the Order of St. John. Church architecture flourished after the siege of 1565. The Church of the Order, St. John's in Valletta, was erected between 1572 and 1575 and was one of the very first buildings in the new city. Its austere, manneristic exterior contrasts dramatically with the opulence of its intricately carved interior, which is topped by the splendid illusionist murals by Mattia Preti. Notable too are the striking funeral monuments in marble that represent a rich sculptural heritage 
of three centuries ranging from Gothic to neoclassical. had originally adopted the old church of San Lorenzo in Vittoriosa as its conventual church. After settling in Valletta, the Council of the Order decided to erect a new conventual church in the center of their new city. The Museum of St. John's contains objects which relate to the history of the church. It was established in 1968 and holds an important collection of works of art, including St. Jerome by Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio, the Beheading of St. John by Caravaggio is one of the artist's masterpieces and his only signed painting. The National Museum of Archaeology is housed in the Auberge de Provence on Republic Street, Valletta. The Auberge was one of the earliest buildings to be constructed in Valletta by the Knights of St. John the facade of the building hides an austere interior that boasts a number of spacious halls. The vaulted ceiling of the lobby is decorated by a trompe l'oeil painted by Niccolo Nassoni in the 1720s. floor, a grand salon has been decorated with neoclassical motifs. The Museum of Fine Arts in South Street, Valletta, is housed in one of the most magnificent palaces erected by the Knights of St. John. Apart from the basement area, with its loggia, the main body of the palace was erected in the 1760s in an exuberant and tasteful Rococo style. Since 1972, the palace has housed Malta's national collection of works of art, a fine display of paintings, sculptures, ceramics, tapestries and drawings ranging from the late 13th century to modern times. The Manmal Theatre was formally inaugurated on the 19th of January 1732 and is the oldest theatre in Europe. Built by Grandmaster Antonio Manuel de Villena for the honest recreation of the people, it is considered a gem of the style, especially because it has been so little altered. The three cities, Vittoriosa, Senglia and Cospicua, have a most interesting history. The order, on its arrival in Malta in the 16th century, settled in Vittoriosa, developing it as an urban centre and providing it with protective walls. Grandmaster de la Sengle founded Senglia on the neighbouring peninsula, then called Isola. The great siege of 1565 was fought around the walls of Vittoriosa, and Senglia. Cospicua, formerly Burmola, and a suburb of Vittoriosa, was developed after the Great Siege of 1565. When the order moved its administrative center to Valletta in 1571, the three cities became the maritime center of Malta, complete with the order's arsenal and fleet.